So here's the one and only complete tutorial for financial security advisors who wants to launch their first life insurance ad campaign on Facebook the right way in 2023. So in the last two years, I personally spent close to a million dollars on life insurance campaigns on Facebook, particularly generating over 30,000 life insurance quality leads for our clients in Canada. And I've made a lot of mistakes. I can tell you that which I lost a lot of money and I lost a lot of time doing it. And my goal with this complete tutorial is that I'm going to give it all away for you so that you don't have to do the same mistakes and get started the right way and start making money with your Facebook ad from day one. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to put your foundation in place with Facebook to launch your first ad. What are the two best audiences to target as a financial advisor to get started on Facebook for life insurance ads? What is the best offer to actually put forward on Facebook to have great results from day one? I'm gonna show you how to set up your campaign step by step. I'm literally gonna take you by the hand, go on my computer and walk you through all the steps that you need to do to launch your first ad for life insurance, setting up the best qualifying questions on your form to collect information and to qualify your leads. And finally, how to ultimately get life insurance leads coming your way for maximum 15 to $20 per lead. All right, so here is the A to Z on how to launch your first life insurance Facebook ad the right way. So I'm gonna go through this document that I've set up for you guys so I'm going to literally go step by step, click by click. So all you, all that you guys have to do, is just follow along, do the same thing as me, and you'll have your first uh, life insurance ads going on for you and having leads coming in for 15 to 20 bucks, qualified life insurance lead for your financial advisor practice. All right. So without further ado, let's jump right straight into the document. As a starter, so this is a life insurance Facebook ad setup. So a little introduction, okay? So you'll be running ads for a free life insurance quote. So that's what we've seen has better results on the conversion side. When you try to attract people with a life insurance quote, a lot easier to transition to a sell. So a lot easier than just if you go with an ebook offer or a free guide, you need to do a lot of like manipulating and switching in times in, in terms of sales, which is not that worth it. So life insurance quote, this is our lead magnet to get them to exchange their information in exchange uh, for consultation with. In order for that to work though, not everyone can make it work and that's where it gets hard. But the good thing is that we're there to help. So to have good cost per lead, okay, with a direct offer, like a free life insurance quote, you need to put a lot of emotion in your advertising images and copyright because you know that everyone needs life insurance. It's just a matter of giving them a good reason to take action. A lot of people say don't go into that direct offer for free life insurance code because they don't know how to do marketing. And good thing is that we've spent almost a million dollars in the last two years on life insurance ads. So we know a thing or two on that. So you need to have really strong emotions in your images and copywriting to make people take action and make it harder for them not to take action than taking action. Okay. And you do that with emotion and just a quick misconception of marketing and sales. So the goal of the ad itself is not to sell your service. So your goal is not to sell the policy on the ad. The goal is to sell always the next step in the sales process. When they're going to see your ad, the goal is for them to, for you to sell the click with the image and the text. Okay. So they have it enticing enough for them to get, okay, I'm going to click there and see what it is. Okay. I'm going to open the quiz and see what it is. Okay. I'm going to fill out the quiz and see what it is. So the goal in marketing is always to sell the next step and not the final outcome. That's what you're going to do in sales. Just a bit of background. I'm owner and founder of Fondaco Media, and we've run this campaign for the last two years for our financial advisors. We've helped over 600 advisors the last two years, and it's one of the best offer to be able to pass the buck, as we like as we like to call it, because life insurance is the most transactional product that you have, which is easier once you sell them on life insurance to go ahead, walk in their house, and sell them your other services, investment services, RESPs, or RSPs or all that fun stuff uh, because now you have the clients. Let's jump right into the, the tutorial, all right? So the prerequisites for you to launch your first ad, you're gonna need to have your Facebook and Instagram professional page set up. So th if this is not done, pause this video. If you want me to do a complete video on how to optimize your Facebook and Instagram professional page from A to Z for financial advisors, let me know in the comment down below. I'll be happy to do so. But in the meantime, YouTube, how to set up your Facebook and Instagram professional page. Let's show you how. 
you can come back here. Same thing with your Facebook ad account. Just Google how to do Facebook ad account. It's not that complicated. Just do that and you'll be ready to go. Uh, the last three things also is also have at least two to three images, two to three texts for life insurance. So once again, uh, this is the really crucial part. If you want me to do a video on how to do the best ads, and even I can even give you out our best performing ads for us entirely for free. If you want, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to send it over to you. So, uh, and I can do an entire video on that. But for now, I will assume that you already have a couple of images, a couple of texts that you're ready to test out and your Facebook and professional page. Let's go ahead and create our first life insurance advertising campaign. You're gonna notice once you get inside your, your Facebook account right there, you're gonna discard the crap the drafts for there, but it's separated into three categories. So you have the campaigns, you have the ad sets, and you have the ads. Your campaigns is your, your full folder, okay? So this is what regroups your ad sets and your ads. And then you have your ad sets in your campaign. So this will serve to show your ads to the right person, to the right audience, the right demographics at the right location. And the ads will be the creative part itself. Okay, so the ads are in the ad sets and the ad sets are in the campaign. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we have our Facebook page up. So mine is already set up right there. This is a super simple, nice professional cover page, professional photo. I got financial advisor, security advisor in my bio. I have my ad account set up. So once that's ready, you're ready to go to launch your ad. So if we follow this, we're gonna create our campaign. So we go inside the ad account, create campaign, campaign, a buying type auction. And we're gonna go ahead and our objective is to generate leads. So there we go. It's gonna open you a created tab like that. In terms of naming convention, this is super, super important for you to keep organized. In terms of naming, what we like to do is we like to start with uh, the actual offer itself. So life insurance, direct uh, offer quiz okay, because it's going to be a form direct offer I'll just call it form and then you're going to put the date that you're going to launch the app life insurance direct offer form march 28th okay so right now at the, the time i'm recording this we're march 27th i'm going to show you that you're always going to schedule your ads start day after so at 5 a.m the next day the reason why is that if you started right now so for example right now it's 4 47 p.m facebook is going to spend all my budget like in the next eight hours until midnight so that's not good so you want to always launch the day 5 a.m. when people start to wake up so that your ads start getting traction when people start to wake up. That's the naming right there. Life insurance, direct offer form, March 28th. You can even add a date that you're in order or the province, for example, Alberta. Let's say I'm doing this in Alberta. There we go. Categories, you don't have to do that. Now, if little side note, because at Fondaco, we also help advisors recruit inside their team through Facebook ads and other social platforms. In that case, you would have to put employment. If that's your case, if you want to learn how to do recruiting ads, I could also do a separate video on how to launch your uh, recruiting ads and make it work from day one. So if that's the case, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do so. But for life insurance, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. All right. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, set up this and you're going to put your budget. So if you look at the document where we're there, I follow all of that. In terms of daily budget, I always recommend you to start to have as a goal to have one lead per day. So in the last two years, generating life insurance leads and spending almost a million dollars on that, our average was about 25 to 30 bucks early, but we were doing really, really high volume. So if you're doing it by yourself at lower volume, you can easily get it for under 20 bucks. So the ideal budget to start per day, I'd say $20. So if they're $20 daily budget, that means that Facebook will not spend more than $20 per day for your ads. Next. And you already have your first step set up, which is the campaign. So that you're all good with that. In terms of ad set, like I said, this is where we're going to determine who is going to see your ad. Because with Facebook, you pay for eyeballs that looks at your ads. Okay, so you pay for a lot of eyeballs to look at your ad. You want to make sure that those eyeballs on the top of your funnel is as qualified as possible. So in terms of audiences that we've tested out, we've tested out a lot of audiences like entrepreneurs, specialists. Uh, and all that stuff, but the ones that keep having good results on the cost per lead and the cost per sales side, because that's the most important part, is parents and seniors. So parents, moms or dads from 25 to 55 years old, okay? So that's been our best, best audience so far. And the seniors, which is 55 plus, because nowadays with Facebook, before you could target a lot of things, put a lot of stuff, but now Facebook don't like that. The algorithm don't like that. Right now, Facebook algorithm wants you to target inside your creative element. The way people separate themselves where people say, oh, it's saturated Facebook and all that stuff. It's not. If you're a good marketer, it won't be. And if you're on this channel, you will become a good marketer, right? You can do the targeting with your creative. So what I mean by that, if you're targeting parents, 25 to 55 year old, for example, then you can do a campaign just for dads, for dads that are between 25 and 55. So now in your copywriting, instead of saying, if you're a Canadian citizen and watch this ad, for example, then you can say, 
if you're a dad for, uh, and you're between 25 and 55 year old, you don't want to miss this. You see how precise that is, right? So that's the whole point of that. So for the case of this example, I'm going to choose parents. Okay. So I'm going to choose moms and dads or parents in general. I'm going to target my whole province. So that's the, the larger your audience, the better it. But I always suggest you go province wide because once again, you can be more precise in the copies. For example, you can say Bertha parents from 25 to 55 year olds. You have to read this. So that could be a way to start your ads. Parents, Alberta, you're going to put your audience size. So right there. So this is going to change because we're going to switch some stuff. I'm going to show you. So size and then March 28th. Okay. So a uh, conversion location, we're going to choose instant forms. So you're going to build out a Facebook lead form. I'm good. This is going to be on the third part, the ad part. Okay. So just click there. Once that's good terms, that's all good. You're going to select your professional page, which I did right there. I'm going to switch this off, uh, this, this on dynamic creative. What that does is that you're going to let Facebook make combinations with your creative so that you don't have to. So let's say you can put three images, three texts. Facebook is going to test out all the different combinations. One with one, one with two, one with three, two with one, two with two, three, three, and so on and so forth. And they're going to keep putting budget on the good one. So that's always a good plus. That's a recent feature a couple, I think a year ago that happened. And this really changed the game, especially for people that want to spend time. Like you, you want to spend time closing deals, not doing that. So I'm going to make sure it's as automated as possible. So once that's turned on, we're going to go with the uh, budget and schedule budget. You already put the campaign, uh, the, the budget in the campaign. So you don't have to touch a budget there, but there you're going to put the schedule. So what you're going to do tomorrow, uh, 5 a.m. Okay. So right now I'm in Toronto time. So let's just put, you're going to put the right time zone in, uh, in, in your province or in your state, obviously. Finally, in terms of audience, you're going to choose the location. You're going to take off the countrywide because like I said, you want to go province or statewide. That's always the best. And eventually as you start getting results, now is when you'll be able to go more citywide, right? So let's say you live in Edmonton and you can only target Edmonton. Uh, so like 50 mile radius, for example, if you want to meet people in person, but leverage Zoom, leverage teams, leverage those virtual meetings. That's where you can have a lot more volume and a lot more results. So Alberta right there, this already brings our audience really almost by 10. Age, we're gonna do 25 to 55, okay? Genders, that's all good. Uh, advanced detail targeting, you can turn this to off. And now languages, depending on the languages, do whatever you want, but I assume all you guys speak English, so you're gonna do English all. This brings us down to 2.1, okay? Placements, advantage plus placements, don't touch that. Uh, you're going to put the audience right there, 2.1 million. We're good with uh, the ad sets. Let me just see that I've, uh, I did all good. So a uh, name of ad set, that's all good. Conversion, yeah, that's all good. Activated uh, leads, uh, date and time, uh, it was 5 a.m. Location, always better to target the entire province and make your sales calls on Zemo teams. Age, if your target audience is parents in your, audience, in your state, so we're in Quebec, but 25 to 55 year olds, gender, both language, I put English, you're good to go. You're now up on for the ad. Okay. So once you're done, click there. So now in terms of your ad, okay. So this is when you're going to name it a uh, DC for dynamic creative parents, Alberta at one March. So once that's good, uh, here, I don't have my Instagram account connected, but I, I suggest that you already have it set up you connect your account and you can put your Instagram business account because Facebook owns Instagram. So all your ads that you run on Facebook is also going to go on Instagram. So it's a good way to attack both market without complicating stuff. So you can just automate it like that. Once you're good, you can go ahead and select your images. So like I said, I would always recommend you to start with three images. Okay. So these are three simple images that I made that we've already tested. that have already worked with us. So like I said, you can see a lot of emotions right there. So the younger you are, the cheaper it is, right? We're showing them that look, 44 years old for a woman, it's going to be 25 per month. And then if you wait just three years, it can jump up to 37. So why not take action now? So same thing here with uh, the dads, you cannot see a lot, but there's just different things that you're going to test and Facebook is going to choose different variations for you to test out. Okay. So these are images example, but like I said, if you want me to dig deeper in that, because that's an important subject of the success of your ads, let me know. I'll make a video on that. So that's, you just choose your images right there. Uh, just turn that off in terms of text, you're going to also do three texts. So, uh, in that case, so I've already prepared one text, uh, right there, how much you can leave to your loved ones when you die with life insurance. Like I said, a lot of emotion, that's what works emotional based copywriting and creative work. That's what work a lot. And also if you want to learn how to do those texts and you have one that's working, a secret hack that I can tell you is to use the famous chat GPT. So I'm pretty sure you already heard of that. It's an artificial intelligence for you to ask them anything. It's like a uh, more intelligent Google that can help your personal assistant 
So what you can do is, hey, uh, ChatGPT, please do me five variations of this winning ad copy for life insurance. Uh, my audience is parents from 25 to 55 year olds in Alberta, and they're going to pump you out five variations and you can just test them out. So that's a good tip. If you want me to dive deeper into how to use ChatGPT for financial advice, I'll be happy to do so. Once again, let me know, give me some ideas. I'll do whatever helps you. Okay. So once the text is there, you're going to add three others. And then in terms of headline, same thing, we're going to put the one that I've uh, already tested. So stop, get your free quote, simple as that. In terms of description. So here's your ad. At this point, you've already edited your images within your ad copy. And also quick note, if you're wondering where we do our ads, canva.com, don't complicate yourself. Canva, it's a super, super simple tool. You don't have to be a graphic designer and you can pump out a lot of good graphics and choose a lot from good templates. So canva.com is a secret. Uh, have three texts also. And then description, just put this, take our 27 second quiz in, to learn about the best affordable life insurance to protect your loved one. The quiz is the lead form itself. Okay, so when they're gonna click learn more, they're gonna be redirected. So here, just put learn more. They're gonna be redirected to the Facebook form, okay? That where they're gonna give you information in exchange of you calling them and pitching them on a call and then doing yourself. So once that's good, you're going to create a form. Okay. So here I've already created a form, but you can just click create form right there. It's going to pop up something like that. I can just create it in front of you. So what you're going to do is you're going to create your form. So life insurance form, March 28th. There I put in some instant form. You can go right there. High volume okay. settings. Make sure it's uh, it's to English. Then intro background image. You can just put the same, the same background as your photo. All right, everyone. So there you have it. You have the complete step by step, the complete recipe that we personally use and spent over almost a million dollars on Facebook ads for life insurance leads. And now you know how to predictively attract leads, attract people coming your way for almost 15 to $20. And this will make you feel bad the next time you have to spend $80 per lead or $100 per lead to another marketing agency once you know their secrets like this. So I hope that you enjoyed this full complete tutorial. I literally gave you all of our recipe that we use to, to generate all of those life insurance leads. So the only thing I ask in return is that you share this video to other colleagues that would like also to benefit from saving almost 75% of their marketing budget if they were going to invest in other marketing agency now that they know how to generate it themselves and get results from day one with this complete tutorial so leave me your questions in the comments if you have some i'll be happy to answer you and to guide you through the right way if everything's all good for you i'll see you in the next video